So hey what's up guys this is the latest Pixel Experience Android 13 Plus update for Redmi Note 10 and I have got the update and I already posted a community poll that I will be using this device personally for 2-3 to three days and then I will give the review. So I have used this device for 2-3 to three days and I have done with the review and this video also consists of two parts installation and review. So be with me until the last of the video. So let's get started with the review part and in the later part of the video you will get the installation part so let's get started so first of all guys i am happy with the whole ui and experience of this room everything works flawlessly you have to no need to care of any of the things everything is working fine this is based on pixel experience kernel everything even the app opening and closing animations are so smooth you can see this let me go to settings and help you out what's the things that you are getting let me turn off the auto rotate and what the, about the phone you are getting the pure android 13 above here you can see this the android 13 is easter egg i love the android 13 easter egg it's just beautiful after that you get the android security update of 5th november 2022 with the kernel version of pixel experience and the belt number of tda 22105.005 and it's having the code name of Mojito. You all know that it's the code name is Mojito. After that, I checked everything in this room. Of everything should have won worked fine and it does it does work fine. After that, let me help you out to know about the what you are getting the settings. Here you get the quick settings option also. And here you can see this. I have used in with my personal same you can see this no internet issues i've got so far and the apps you do get a default apps which is having the pixel launcher pixel launcher does not provide as you know all customizations as compared to any of the rooms you can see this about that about the battery the battery is awesome is you can compare with it to cr droid uh 8.9 which is based on android 12 but still it's the best apart from that the battery usage you can see this my battery usage i use flawlessly every time my battery and here's my battery uses stats you can see this you get the 24 hour usage also you can do check out that also battery saver option extend battery drop option is also given after that you get the sound and vibration because it's a plus version of the pixel experience you get the per app volume control option and so you can do check out that also smart pause option is also there you can see that smart pause does works i don't use these kind of settings but yeah you get the pure pixel feeling what i told in my previous videos this is my budget pixel 4a so you can do use that after that let me help you out with the display settings in the display you can see that you get the lock screen with the always show and time info which means you get the always on display but my usage does not consist of only on AOD, so you can do check this out with at your own. In the, in the dark theme settings, you are not getting a pitch black or anything type of take up dark theme. Clock, display size and text is given because it's new UI of display size and text. Color natural and booster saturated is available. These were working fine. Notch behavior option is given. If you select on hidden, you get a Pixel 2 or A. I not remember its name, but you get that device feeling so i don't use that if i have full screen why should i not use the full screen of that and these all settings are working in the wallpaper and style you can see this here you get the android 13 many of the theme color palette you can do check out and if i just select this you can see that whole is being gets changed after that upgrade is also available but it is limit up to five by six so you have to just check for that also here you got the basic colors basic color does consist of many of the colors you can see this basic colors does consist of many much apart from that you do get the fingerprint and face unlock option which is too good and i have personally checked that but i don't need to get a fixed fingerprint and face unlock so i haven't checked that apart from that everything does fine and you get an options of the gestures customizations and button customization i'm not going to that part also because these all settings were working and you have to check that your own system update is given because you have to just update your whenever a update comes you get notified from this updater but you can't update from this updater you have to manually update this room after that one thing i want to tell you about the language 
you not you are not getting many app languages support here only few apps does support app language support so you are not getting much app language support here apart from that all of the things now let me talk about the whole ui the whole ui feels so snappy and smooth because of the pixel experience kernel or whatsoever but the whole ui does feel quicker and sharper to be used and the battery charging time is as usual as mi ui because it supports 33 watt and you get a much fast charging also there is no lag with in the qs panel you get the more options to customize from here you can do add from it here so you can easily to check that out for also if i talk and this is the cpu throttling test you get the 8 minute and 44 seconds of the cpu throttling test with scored 83% max performance with the max 142 gips and it gives a lot more good performance from any other comparison rom after that i just want to talk about the safety net test safety net test does passed and the device certification is device certified you do can run banking apps easily with no hassles at your usage everything does works fine this looks awesome so if i would recommend this rom it is having highly recommended this does not comes with any x camera you have to use a g cam or because it comes with a osp based camera you can see this it's in a osp based camera so you are not getting that much so this is the all part of the review guys if you really 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 like the video then please 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 like the video and subscribe to my channel and now let us see the installation steps So guys now this is the installation part of the video you can do check out my review first of all then you should install this rom so for now you have to just power up power button for simultaneously or you can do your restart button click here and just press volume down button you can see in the video after that whenever it gets rebooted into the fast boot mode you will get a pop up of fast boot written you get a fast boot written pop up after that you have to come on my pc and i will show you how this gets done with the installation part of the video so now guys you can see i am on my desktop and you can see i have opened the platform folder you have to just click over there on the address bar and click cmd and hit open you have to just give the command fast boot dy says and now this is not detecting in my device due to of the drivers after that you have to just go in the windows key and just have to write device manager and device manager will open and from now you have to just click double click on this and drivers update drivers simply let me pick the available drivers and click on android devices and now bootloader interface should be clicked after that it will get detected on your device to the pc and from now you can see this after whenever i write fast boot d y says it gets shown on the my laptop after that you have to just need to write f a s t b o t f l a s h boot fast boot flash boot above here and from here you have to just select this pixel experience beta 13.0 recovery zip and img and select and press it here after that click on this and it will now get started to get flashed on the devices after that you just need to write fast boot reboot recovery and now click enter the device will get restarted in the recovery mode you can see this it will automatically gets restarted into recovery mode now you can see that it is successfully booted into recovery mode you have to just click on the apply update over here first of all you have to need to do a factory reset if you are coming from another rom just on the pixel experience on that's why i'm doing click on apply update apply update from adb now on the system you have to just write 
ए डी बी साइड लोड एंड जस्ट क्लिक दिस फाइल एंड ड्रैग इट ऑन द सी एम डी बार एंड डबल क्लिक हिट एंटर आफ्टर दैट दिस विल गेट स्टार्टेड फ्लैशिंग ऑन माई रेडमी नोट टेन फॉर रोम इंस्टॉलेशन इन दिस इन दिस वे प्रोसेस यू हैव जस्ट नीड नथिंग टू डू बस यू हैव ओनली टू डू दिस एंड यू गेट्स फ्लैश अ कस्टम रोम ऑन योर डिवाइस एंड इट विल गेट्स कंप्लीटेड ऑन द फोर्टी सेवन परसेंट यू डोंट नीड टू केयर अबाउट दैट इट इज ओनली डन ऑन फोर्टी सेवन परसेंट इट्स गेट्स इंस्टॉल्ड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू नीड टू फॉलो जस्ट फ्यू स्टेप्स यू आर नाउ सींग दैट इट इज शोइंग फाइव परसेंट इट विल गेट ऑटोमेटिकली फोर्टी सेवन परसेंट आफ्टर दैट आई विल शो यू वॉट इज डू आफ्टर दैट so guys now you can see that the process has been done on the 47 percentile and it shows no error after that you just need to go into your device and go back factory reset factory data reset you have to just do i have already done that so i don't need to do that and just click on reboot system now after that it will get rebooted in your uh, custom rom which is pixel experience plus 13 edition So guys this is for now if it video is really really helpful of yours then please subscribe to my channel and like the video because it really motivates me to make awesome content for you so guys this is Arav signing you off we'll meet in the next video